Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 8 of Prison Architects. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, might actually just put the game up to speed 3 for a while now because uh, we've got a lot of jobs queued up. Um, yes, we do have some prisoners that are kicking off. We certainly do have some issues. We're making a little bit of extra money from exports actually because we're chopping so many trees down. The trees that we're chopping down are actually being shipped out. And that's actually making us a fair bit of extra income, which is really nice. We are working on our second cell block. We've still got quite a few bits and pieces that we need to install. We need to get all of the um, utilities and facilities installed. I'm just going to make sure that we have our uh, water boilers put in on these. Uh, there's quite a few things that we do actually need. Uh, first of all, we need to get staff doors on both of those. We also need to make sure that we have some drains so that the water from the shower doesn't go absolutely anywhere. We need to make sure that we have some solitary doors on these cells here. And we need to make sure that we've got jail doors on these here. I've discovered after last time it's always a good idea to put the jail doors in last. Because that way you don't have to keep waiting for a guard to come and open and close the doors every time one of the workmen wants to get in and uh, connect something up. So that is always a good thing. Power consumption is fine at the moment. Uh, how are we doing with our research, actually? That's something that I had forgotten to check. So we've actually finished dogs now. Uh, armory's done already as well. Wow, okay. Um, so we probably need to work on some extra stuff, really. But before we do that, let us go and try and finish our thing. So we need two armed guards. So armed guards armed guards armed with a shotgun prisoners will think twice before attacking this fellow each armed guard requires his own locker in the armory so we are going to have to build an armory dog handlers also require dogs which i think you have to build kennels for so we are going to have to build an armory um this wall here is completed so let's go ahead and demolish this fence here and then we'll be able to start building up the armory. This one is also done, so we can demolish this one here as well. Okay, so that's a few jobs done. Oh. So let's just go and put this back on to uh, normal speed for the time being. I just want to keep my eye on everything and make sure nothing too terrible is happening. Looks like there was some stuff going on down here in the, uh, in the infirmary as the door got par partly damaged. It might even be worth having a guard on sort of permanent duty in the infirmary. Um, I also think we should have a guard patrol that runs from the laundry um, through the yard. And into the cleaning cupboard on a every now and then and into the storage room. Unfortunately, it's put about a million guards on that route just because of how I was clicking it multiple times. But it's got one guard on it now. That should be fine. Plenty of guards in reception to be dealing with any of the rubbish that might happen down here. So once we've got some more room, that'll be fine. We don't have to be constantly working on security. I mean, it does make sense to do so. Variety of food that can be useful. We can work on education. We can work on tasers. We can work on body armor. Body armor is not a bad thing to work on, to be honest. It can be really, really useful. What does micromanagement gives us? Uh, unlocks food logistics, allowing you to specify which kitchens cook for which canteens. Deployment scheduler, not really needed right now. But I guess getting the the body armor in advance for our armed guards isn't a bad thing. It will cost us a thousand, but it's probably worth doing. We've got six thousand still in the bank. We might have to do a shakedown uh, soon. We haven't done one for a while. We might find that we've got a fair few prisoners that uh, are carrying stuff that they shouldn't have. So before we get through all of our money, let's make sure that we've got all of our utilities connected up. We should definitely have no gaps in the electrical cable. That is part of the problem here. Um, that bit of cable doesn't need to be there. We need cable to go down to the boilers. We also need water to come down here. So we need our large water pipe down to the um, 
Well, we'll put this one down at the bottom. It'll make it a, a little bit easier. We can see what's going on. Uh, we don't have any way of cutting... I guess we can cut that water off with that valve up there. That'll actually cut the water off to both cell blocks. So that is fine. Uh, we will run that pipe through the entire length of the bottom wall so it can go into the boiler. Then we need small pipes. These small pipes are going to have to run to all of the shower heads. Well, we don't need those ones in there, I suppose. And I've still gone and screwed it up. Why is it deleting the entire row when you need to go to there? And again, you don't need to be there, do you? It deletes the entire row every time. Well, I guess you do need to go all the way because you have to actually connect to the pipe, I suppose. So we'll go ahead and do that. You guys have toilets at the back, so they need connecting up. And then you've got toilets, 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 and toilets. Same on this side. Toilets, toilets. Are we bankrupt yet? Not quite. Toilets and um, toilets, I guess. And then we need the, uh, the heating. So we're going to need hot water pipes. And they're going to run to the radiators. And we want one hot water pipe that's going to run all the way along. Connect the boilers up. Radiators. 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 Uh, haven't done all the ones over here, have I? Nope. So, radiators, radiators, and radiators. And then finally, we just want to get the um, showers connected up. And that should be it. That literally should be that cell block finished now. We shouldn't have to mess around with that anymore. Still got a few gaps here in the fence because they're taking the old fence to pieces. So that is fine. So busy, busy guards. We can actually build the fence out over here. So that is what we'll do. We'll build it a second, uh, a second row deep of fence. So we'll go and get that done. Quite happy with how things are going so far. As soon as we get everything in here and we can assign them as cells, I mean, they're quite busy at the moment because I've just got all the guards working on fences because I want room to expand. It's probably a little bit uh, greedy. Once we've got some room, we can work on an armory. Looks like we've got something going on here in the uh, canteen. Someone's got a pair of scissors. Now, what it might be time to do, and something that's really, really useful... Uh, we do have the money, is we can buy, and I can't even see them on the list at the moment. I'm just going to search for them because the lists are absolutely ma uh, massive. But you can get these metal detectors. And if you put these metal detectors on the inside of doors, and of course you do have to make sure that they are connected up to the power grid. But you put these metal detectors on the inside of doors, and then anyone walking through them with like knives and scissors and shears and screwdrivers will set off the metal detector at which point one of the guards will escort them to solitary so it's definitely worth having that done looks like a lot of the stuff is getting done with the fence now they are still filling in some of the holes in the outer fence that is fine we'll probably just keep this row for cell blocks so we might want to build our armory up in this area up here which is probably not a bad thing. I don't know how big it needs to be, but let's go ahead and plan it out. We'll use the planning. Um, we want to leave uh, two, two spaces and we'll make it, say, say 10 by 12. This is going to be our armory. So that's what we're building. It's probably way bigger than it actually needs to be. Uh, but, you know, we'll, um, we'll also want a security office as well. Um, so I think what we might do is, yeah, we'll do that, and then we will also have uh, another wall that comes out to here, and this will be the security office. So we'll wait until we've got the cell block done before we start building that. Security office is basically where you monitor the CCTV from, because we do certainly want to get some of the CCTV up and running in the various blind spots. Hopefully now the workmen should be fairly dedicated to working on that. I do want all the gaps in the fences completed, though. Uh, gaps gaps in fences in a prison, generally bad. Yep, there is somebody working on that down there, actually. He's hiding behind the tree, and I couldn't see him. You're just cleaning up. 
still quite... If you, I mean, at the moment, things still can get thrown over the fence here. So people could grab a hold of anything there. So we still need to um, uh, bring those fences out. And of course, doing that is going to help ensure that we don't uh, we don't get as much stuff thrown into the prison. So we will have to work on that. Um, yeah, we'll probably... Uh, See, the only problem is with building the fence out. I don't want to build it out in front of the doors because these doors make it very quick for the uh, workmen to get in and out and things like that. They just go in and out through the staff doors. But we'll certainly build some fences out in front of these areas. We could probably fence this off, uh, actually. That's not a bad idea. Let's just go ahead and um, put a bit of fence in there. And uh, I guess we'll stick a jail door in. Normally, I'd use a staff door. But uh, it's very rare that we're going to have to go in there unless we might have to deal with that boiler at some point. There's no access into this corridor. doesn't need to be because there's nothing in there that we'd ever need to get access to. Apart from maybe cleaning up, but I don't think that is a huge thing. We're definitely getting some work done, though, with the cells. So let's have... Uh, how many... We still have three of the... Uh, can't even remember what they're called. The grants going on. So we're two hours away from getting body armor done. Uh, after body armor, we might want to go for surveillance because we have started to build a um, security office. We could go for the prison policy. Because you can save some money doing that. We'll wait until the current research is finished anyway. Let's go up to a higher speed. Yeah, I'm generally happy with how things are going. We've still got some income coming. We don't have an awful lot of money at the moment, though, which is a potential problem. And it's been a fair few days before we've actually had, uh, since we've actually had any new prisoners. So that does hurt our cash flow quite a bit. But once we get all of these in and assigned to cells, it'll make things a lot easier. We can go ahead and start uh, zoning some of these now. So we can go ahead and make these into solitary, even though they're not finished yet. So we will get little pop-ups notifying us that bits and pieces are missing. That's fine. Uh, shower area and then finally cells or do we want is it, is it shared cells or does um, yeah I think just normal cell counts holding cell office reception yeah just normal cells then so these will be cells now hopefully I haven't screwed it up and a cell for two still only requires the same amount of uh, space it might be that it requires them to have uh, a bigger area. If that's the case, we'll rip the bunk beds out, put single beds in, and then when we build the next cell block, we'll design it specifically so we can put uh, multiple prisoners in there. That doesn't need to be zoned. There we go. There are all the cells marked up. We can also go into deployment, and we can make that staff only. And can't make that one staff only yet because we haven't built it yet and put the door on it, so that is fine. Yes, going good. Okay, let's speed things up again. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the fence is done at the top. And the fence is now done at the bottom. There we go. So we've now got more room to build, which is really good. So we'll build the fence out once we've built the other buildings. I know it makes it a little bit pointless building the, the um, double layer fence if you've got any gap anywhere at all. But uh, I think we've got to prioritize getting some extra prisoners in. We will also have to make sure that we have a guard assigned up here. So we will want a patrol along here and we will want a patrol along here. Both of those are going to want a guard assigned to them. If we have to hire more guards later on, we will. It's not really a huge problem. So none of these cells are actually done yet because they don't have the working toilets in them. Some of them don't have the walls yet. Most of them don't have the doors yet. So that's going to take a little bit of time. How are we doing on those long-term funds? Still got to wait 123 hours for those. So that is a little bit of a while. We probably won't work on any research straight away. We'll wait until we actually get some more grants and then we can use that for the additional research. Um... That piece of fence is not exactly uh, built in the direction it's supposed to be. Um, 
fence. That needs to be removed. Can we uh, control left click? Get that done urgently. And then refit it the uh, correct way around, I suppose. You're going to clear that rubble up, are you? And someone's got to take the bag away. If you put the fence in there, it should get fitted in, or installed, I should say, in the correct orientation. Oh, something going on in here. See, having those extra guards around patrolling that area really helped with issues like that. It's not like the janitors ever go in and clean the shower, which I find strange. Well, something was happening somewhere there. I heard, uh, I heard people getting hit. Mm, okay, well, we'll leave them to it. How are things going on up here? Why doesn't this count as a cell? It's failed because of bed. But it has a bed in it. Okay, so what have I messed up? Let's just pause up and have a look how the bunk bed works. Um, objects, bunk bed. No pop-up? Nothing at all. Maybe it's in the wrong orientation and they can't reach the side of it or something. So what if I... What if I want to dismantle this object? Dismantle object. Bed. There we go. Can we prioritize it? sure what's happening. Let's just go and unpause. Is he going to go and do that? I think he is. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to try and reinstall it, but we'll try and reinstall it in a different orientation just to see how it works. So if you remove that bed, and then, can I um, get you to... Oh, I'm hitting all the wrong keys here. Can I get you to prioritise that, or somebody prioritise it? I just want to try and Work out why a bunk bed isn't counting as a bed. Room requirements. Minimum 2 by 3 Enclosed, surrounded by walls. It's indoors. It has a toilet. It's just failing because it doesn't have a bed. But clearly there is a bed there. So he's just basically unpacking that bed and reinstalling it now. Will that count? No, for some reason, those beds aren't counting. So does a bunk bed not require as a... Not count as a bed? Well, that's just weird. Okay, fine. Let's go and sell those beds then. I guess we could just put them into storage. We probably will use them at some point, but... Now we've got to buy a load of beds. So let's go and dismantle all the beds. I have no idea why those beds aren't working. All of these cells have beds in them. And cancel that one and cancel that one. Right, we'll take all of those beds out then. I'm not sure if I'm missing something there. I mean, let's have a quick look at the, uh, the quick build. Because they have these shared cells. See, these shared cells have bunk beds in them, so why doesn't a um, why doesn't a bunk bed count as a bed? That's weird. I'll have to have a look uh, look at that one. I'll look it up in between episodes because I didn't see any option under um, rooms for sh for shared cells. I don't think. No. Oh, somebody has uh, been caught with a pair of scissors. A couple of people actually. So as you can see, this is the importance of having metal detectors. There's apparently quite a few people that have scissors. And people keep picking them up as well. This is the other issue. Is uh, somebody will drop them and then somebody else will pick them up. But they shouldn't be able to really get them out of the door. There we go. See, somebody else was found with them. So he will be uh, suppressed and he will be taken away. Hopefully before somebody else picks the scissors up. We might have to build an entire solitary wing at this point. I didn't see where those scissors went. Did somebody else pick them up? 
I'm a little bit concerned that somebody else got them. Yeah, somebody's just been found with a shiv. I think we're going to have to do a shakedown. Definitely seems like something that we need to do. Can't believe those bunk beds uh, didn't work. That's a little bit weird, but we'll get them all uninstalled. There we go. Someone else has been found with scissors. A lot of, lot of people with drug problems here. I think we're going to have to do a shakedown, but that will be on the next video. So I'm going to pause things there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Prison Architect. I'll see you guys on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.